record, can you give us your name, please? And spell uh, it. Okay. Uh, Hiromi Marihan. H I R O M I M O N E Y H U N. And okay. And um, what is your title? Uh, I'm paper cut artist. Okay, we're good. Can you, can you start over? Nope, you're fine. Okay. I'll just make a little adjustment to this shot. Okay, we're good. Okay, cool. So, one of my first questions I have for you. Mm -hmm. um, can we first start off by asking what is Japanese paper cut? Can you explain for the people that have never seen this kind of work before? What is Japanese paper cut? Um. Japanese paper cut art is uh, or simply cutting out paper is a silhouette or just in a whole imagery uh, with some people use scissors or knife and I'm using knife to cut out paper okay um, why not scissors why do you prefer the knife versus scissors uh, because uh, my work is so detailed, and now it's more easier to uh, cut out like a detailed work. So. Gotcha. Okay. Um, can you talk us? Can you take us through like the beginning stages, um, the concept? Whenever you create a piece, where does the imagery come from? Like, and where did the initial thought process come from originally? Um, whenever you make any type of body of work through paper cut. Uh, so. Usually, um, I'm constantly searching for like a subject, uh, like a subject matter. So um, sometimes, you know, just I get inspiration from just walking down the street, or just you know looking through the pictures on internet. But just recently, I I watched couple of uh, documentary about uh, ocean pollution or environmental documentary and so latest uh, like theme and uh, inspiration is like a, those like ocean environment uh, gotcha. yes gotcha. I want to talk about that later on you know, okay, like, okay. No, no 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 like you know you know environment yes. you know oceans uh, I see here, like, you know, one of your series of works, I remember mm -hmm. I was, I was so that you were inspired by nature with these pieces. Mm -hmm. Can yes. you explain um, okay. the version behind that? Okay, so uh, I created uh, latest, like one of the latest pieces. Uh, there, kind of, I got inspiration from moth cocoons, and they were kind of, when I saw them, it was kind of ugly, and it's not really pretty thing. But uh, I, I was, I got really, you know, curious about them. Like, uh, what are, you know, why, you know, what's this, and just what's inside, and I learned that those are, you know, moss cocoon, and I just, when I see, uh, when I see something like, you know, maybe ugly or not really pretty, I kind of want to make them prettier or like a beautiful image. So uh, this work is kind of my interpretation of, yeah, kind of oh, the their, things. yeah. Excellent. Okay. My other question I have. Uh, so this body of work that you're standing in front of, mm -hmm. a drip, can you talk to us about a drip? Um, this is a commission, a commission piece, correct? Yes. But what is, is there a story behind this piece? Um, is it just, again, is this from your research of environmental, mm -hmm. like, you know, air pollution, like, is this a part of that, that, that research? Yes. So this piece of drift is, um, 
it's about like ocean pollution and I kind of uh, I wanted to create like a we are uh, we like, as human uh, kind of drowning into kind of our own problem our pollution trash and uh, so I put these multiple eyes, multiple faces, kind of in center of this piece. It's just showing, you know, kind of sad face and um, kind of almost like a closing eyes, kind of represent like a we are kind of blind to those kind of ugly pollution thing, or sometimes just avoiding seeing. Like a, what's going on, and eyes are kind of slowly open, opening. So you know that out, that means like a, we need to wake wake up. We need to wake up and see like what's going on. And also the, these faces also you know as human, but also as nature, like a represent nature also. And I use uh, like one of like one of biggest like pollution in in ocean is a commercial fishing net. So I use that commercial fishing net design into looks like a traditional Japanese panel, and I just put uh, everywhere in this piece, and like a, we are like entangled with. Pollution and, uh, but I also wanted to show this piece like a you know beautiful way, not just you know throwing this message kind of heavy message to viewer. I just wanted to see first the beautiful piece, and then I want viewer to think what's what's behind this you know this piece, and I think uh, I success to uh, make this imagery. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, normally, you know, again, you know, your style of art mm -hmm. is Japanese paper cut, but if I'm, if I'm correct, the material, this isn't paper, correct? This is paper. Uh, this is all paper, uh, but faces in a painting on wood panel. Gotcha, okay. But uh, it's all cut out, same type of paper. Oh, okay. And this time I, paint, uh, I painted gold with uh, acrylic paint. And so, yes. Gotcha. Paper. <laughs> oh no, no! I remember uh, I was having a conversation with Roy last mm -hmm. night. Some kind of glass. Oh, so yes. So this is well, we synthetic paper. Okay, okay. So basically, you can call plastic, but just just like a you know like a paper you can paint on it yeah. or yes. Gotcha. Okay. Do I have any? I think that last question you gave, I think okay. that pretty much hit it home. Um, yeah, um, and also the time length of this project. You mm -hmm. started, when did this start you? When did you start making this? Uh, starting so in January, just 2021. So, and finished just a few days ago. Nice. So, it, it took about 10 months. <laughs> I think I'm good. Um, where can um, people access your work or know more about you through your website, I'm assuming? Um, yes. People can go on then. Yes, I have a website, hironipapercut.com, or most like the latest, like uh, if, if people want to see the like, latest uh, news or piece in pro, uh, you know, work in progress pieces, uh, it's on Instagram. Are there any more um, projects coming? I know you need to rest, you know, because 10 months <laughs> of work is a long time. Most people don't normally do projects yes. that, that, that length of the time. Mm -hmm. um, are there any um, exhibitions in maybe 2022, 2023 that we need to be known about? Or? Uh, 
Yes, I I don't have uh, dates, exact dates, but uh, there's going to be a show in Jacksonville in 2023, and also uh, another exhibition uh, coming in 20, end of 2022 uh, in Okara, Apple in Cool. Um, Curtis, do you have any questions? No. It's all it's all, all too new to me. I don't yeah. Oh, okay. I, don't, I don't know any, but you know, well, I don't, I don't even know where to begin. I know, like normally, like Mark Clayton or Sierra, like they help me out with this, and um, <laughs> I always ask the photographer, like, yo, like, you know, do you have any questions? No, some, sometimes I do, but I I'm so new to this whole world that I. Um, yeah, I think you kind of kind of asked everything I would have been. <laughs> would have been curious about. Um, hello, me. Is there anything yes. else you want to add to the? Uh... Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, this work is beautiful. Again, I, I, and I think really, beautiful is just a lack of better words. You know, <laughs> um. finished. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This has been incredible.